The book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson, offers a no-nonsense approach to personal development and self-improvement. Here are five key lessons you can draw from the book. One, embrace inevitable suffering in life. Two, choose your values carefully. Three, accept responsibility for your life. Four, embrace failure and rejection. Five, focus on what truly matters. Mark Manson's book is not your typical self-help guide. It takes a different path, challenging the usual motivational advice and offering a fresh outlook on personal growth. It's all about embracing authenticity, building resilience, and living a life with true meaning rather than chasing shallow success. But before not giving so much fuck to anything in life, make sure to subscribe our channel for more stirring content. Mark Manson's book is all about a different perspective on life, one that might seem a bit unusual, but can make a world of difference. He says that life isn't a continuous pursuit of happiness and the avoidance of discomfort. Instead, he suggests that embracing life's challenges is essential for personal growth and happiness. Why is this such a big deal in the book? Well, it's because this idea serves as the foundation for everything else. Manson argues that a lot of our unhappiness comes from expecting life to be all sunshine and rainbows. But, let's face it, life is a bit of a roller coaster, and suffering is part of the deal. By acknowledging that and accepting it, you can start to see life more realistically and maturely. When you try to dodge suffering, you're basically setting yourself up for a tough time when it eventually shows up. But if you embrace it and understand it's just a part of the journey, you can become stronger and more resilient. It's like getting better at handling life's curveballs. Manson also believes that the most fulfilling lives aren't the ones where you avoid pain at all costs. Instead, they're the ones where you find meaning and growth in the face of adversity. Suffering, believe it or not, can be a stepping stone to becoming a better you and finding a deeper purpose in life. So, next time life throws a challenge your way, don't run from it. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it as a stepping stone towards a more meaningful and authentic life. That's what this book is all about. Alright, let's talk about something super important. Mark Manson is all about choosing your values. He's not a fan of blindly following what society or others expect from you. Nope, he says, Figure out what really matters to you. See, a lot of people just go through life without a clear sense of what's truly important to them. They kind of pick up values and priorities from what they see around them or what others say. But Manson says, hold on a second, take a step back and think about it. He wants you to consciously choose your values, ones that really mean something to you. When you pick values that align with who you truly are, life starts to feel more real and genuine. It's like a light bulb moment where your actions and your beliefs match up. And guess what? That leads to less inner conflict and more overall life satisfaction. Manson also isn't a fan of those shallow values like chasing money, fame or stuff. He says, why not focus on things that really matter? like building meaningful relationships, growing as a person, and making a positive impact on your community. These are the things that bring a deep sense of fulfillment. Your values are like your life compass. When you're clear on what they are, it's like having a roadmap for your journey. And when tough times come around, and they will, those values help you stay strong and resilient. They're like your anchor in the storm, reminding you of what really matters. So take a moment, think about what truly matters to you, and go after it. That's what this book is all about. Let's dive into a really cool idea from Mark Manson's book, Taking Responsibility for Your Life. This isn't your usual take the blame stuff. It's about owning your actions, thoughts, and feelings. Manson is all about saying, hey, don't blame everything on external stuff or other people. When you do that, it's like giving away your power and feeling helpless. But if you accept responsibility, you're taking control of your life. 
You're saying, I've got the power to change things and make my life better. This isn't just about pointing fingers at yourself, it's also about getting to know yourself better. It's like looking in the mirror and understanding why you do what you do. Self-awareness is a big deal for personal growth and it helps you make positive changes in your life. When you're in the driver's seat of your life, you don't just sit around when problems show up. You become a go-getter, a solution finder. Instead of playing the victim, you become the hero of your story, finding ways to overcome challenges and make things better. It's like a superpower for effective problem solving. Manson thinks personal growth only happens when you say, I messed up, but I can learn from it. When you stop blaming others or circumstances, it's like lifting a heavy weight off your shoulders. You're free from resentment and anger, and you find more inner peace and happiness. So, by taking responsibility for your life, you're not just in control, you're also the boss of your own happiness. You realize that your choices and attitudes have the power to shape your happiness. That's the magic of this concept from the book. All right, let's talk about something we all deal with, fear of failing and getting rejected. Mark Manson has a pretty cool take on this. He's like, it's okay to mess up and get a no sometimes. It's all part of the game. Manson doesn't want you to run away from failure or rejection because in his world, they're like your wise teachers. When you stumble, you learn and you get stronger. It's how you build up that resilience to tackle life's challenges. This fear of falling flat or being told no can hold you back big time. It's like living in a bubble where you never take risks. Manson wants you to break free from that fear and build up some confidence. When you embrace these experiences, you become bolder and you're more willing to try new things. Manson also gives a reality check. Success isn't about always winning. It's perfectly fine to stumble and make mistakes. It's all part of the journey. So, no more feeling bad about yourself when things don't go as planned. And here's the big one. We often chase success and approval in ways that don't really matter to us. Manson wants you to take a step back and think about what truly aligns with your values and desires. Sometimes we're running after stuff just because others say it's a big deal. But is it really your big deal? When you start embracing failure and rejection, it's like a wake-up call. You start finding meaning and fulfillment in the process, not just in the outcome. That's where the good stuff is. So don't fear failing or being rejected. They're just stepping stones on your path to success and happiness. That's the message Manson wants to share. Let's talk about what really matters in life, according to Mark Manson. He's all about letting go of the small, unimportant stuff and focusing on the big, meaningful things that bring you true happiness. Manson thinks we're often distracted by things that don't really matter, like trying to impress others or chasing after things that society says are a big deal. But he wants you to find clarity and purpose by zeroing in on what's at your core, your values and priorities. See, the modern world can get us all caught up in materialism and seeking approval from others. But Manson is like, hey, it's time to let go of those shallow pursuits. Instead, he wants you to invest in stuff that really counts. Personal growth, solid relationships, and living by your own values. When you focus on what truly matters, you're living life authentically. You're not pretending or trying to fit into someone else's mold. This authenticity can lead to deeper, more meaningful relationships. The cool part is that this kind of living brings satisfaction and happiness, even when life throws its challenges your way. It's all about aligning your actions with your core values, which makes you resilient. You'll keep pushing toward your goals, even when obstacles pop up. And last but not least, Manson is all for building meaningful connections with others. Prioritizing these relationships can lead to greater happiness and a strong sense of belonging. 
So if you want to lead a more purposeful and content life, it's time to focus on what truly matters. That's the heart of Mark Manson's message. Thank you for joining us today on Poetics of Success to explore the key lessons from The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. This book reminds us that success isn't about chasing external validation or avoiding life's challenges, but rather it's about embracing authenticity, personal growth, and a focus on what truly matters. It is all about reshaping your perspective on life first. It says, embrace the tough times. Life's not all about chasing happiness. It's about growing through challenges. To make it work, choose your values wisely. Don't just go with the flow. Be intentional about what really matters to you. This makes your life more authentic and fulfilling. Taking responsibility for your life is a big deal here. It's about empowerment. You're not a victim of circumstances you have the power to change your life. It's like your superpower for personal growth and happiness. Failure and rejection. They're not your enemies, they're teachers. They make you resilient and authentic. So, don't fear them, embrace them. Lastly, focus on what truly matters. Skip the superficial stuff and go after the things that align with your values. This leads to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. In a nutshell, this book is all about being real, resilient, and finding purpose and happiness in what truly matters to you. That's the secret to a happier and more fulfilling life. Poetics of Success is your journey towards a more meaningful and successful life.